on January the 1st, we are getting at least three, potentially four new Lego Star Wars sets. It would have been five had it not been for the delay of 75374, the Skeleton Cruise Ship. As for the three that we know we're getting, we know we're getting 30680, which is a 75-piece polybag AAT build from the prequels. This will come in at five or six pounds. Also getting a super battle pack. This battle pack I've covered on the channel before, but it's the Clone vs. Droids battle pack 7537. Two. This is almost like a two-in-one battle pack that will come in in the region of £30. You're paying twice as much, but in this set you are getting three Phase 2 clones as well as a Shock Trooper, three Super Battle Droids and two Battle Droids. You'll also get a Clone Bark Speeder. A Clone Home Stand, a Battle Droid Stap Speeder and an Octopyra Droid. The final guaranteed set on New Year's Day is not one that I'll be picking up. It's the 4 Plus Crimson Firehawk set from the Young Jedi Adventures. Historically speaking, the 4 Plus sets don't sell particularly well and usually end up on sale at, well, this time of year. I am, however, pleased and I do think there is value in the fact that these 4 Plus sets are now being aimed at the market that they are intended for, the 4 Plus market, which are the kind of people that would be tuning in to see the Young Jedi Adventures on Disney+. Plus. It makes a lot more sense than offering up sets that are from the original trilogy, such as the X-Wing or the AT-ST on Endor. So there you have it, January 1st, New Year's Day, three guaranteed sets that are coming out. Not a lot to pick from there, to be totally honest, but I, for one, am very excited for the Clone vs. Droids battle pack. I think it'll be one of the best battle packs we've seen in a very long time, and it'll be a fantastic way to start off the new year for LEGO Star Wars.